Hello. I've made some progress and I thought I'd show you. I'll show you both at the same time, both features. So I've just built two rooms and you'll notice that not only not only are they different colors but the top story floated away. So the different colors are because they're different rooms and the top story floated away because when you're on a lower floor all of the upper floors float away so that you can see what the heck you're doing. Now if you were to delete some of the upper floors, you can see that the shadow that gets casted can be very helpful in trying to tell you what you've painted over and what you haven't. Now these rooms can be joined pretty easily by just clicking over like this and you can see that it instantly detects that the rooms have been joined and turns them into a single room. This is actually kind of a cool room. Um, just because it's got this this overlook with windows looking out down over a bay. Obviously it doesn't have any functionality or anything, but it's a very straightforward and simple room to build, and it looks kind of neat. Uh, now you can continue to build all you'd like, obviously, and the rooms will continue to detect when they are one room and when they are two rooms, like so. Uh, and you can add doorways between rooms and it won't cause them to be the same room. So all told, uh, it's very, very close to being in a stage where we can start to think about uh, playability for things like, uh, um, oh, I missed, playability for things like uh, putting in, in terrain, you know, I want to have uh, environments. So I want to have this purple room have one environment and these red rooms have a different environment. This kind of looks like a, an evil clown, which it's Halloween, so hey, evil clowns. Um, but you can do a whole bunch of stuff however you would like to and uh, it'll quickly detect what's going on and just automatically adapt your base to whatever you have painted. And there's no limit to the floors down or floors up that it can go. So if we were to switch back to no view mode just so that we can see what we're doing and go back into scene view uh, and look over here you can see that we've got uh, well, the holes in the walls are, are just there because I haven't figured out the meshes yet. Um, I will, I just haven't quite got it, got, got it figured out. But if you look at this, it's actually quite a complicated room with multiple floors where you can look down over the lower floors from here and then you can continue to go up and look down over the floors some more. So it is um, quickly able to get quite complex, these bases. But because you're the one doing the designing, there's not going to be a lot of complexity that you don't understand. It's going to be complexity that you made. And of course, all of these rooms are connected by environmental um, controls. So if you build a giant three-story room like I just did, it's going to have an environment throughout that, and that might be too much of the same environment if you're trying to split it up into controllable areas. Anyhow, that's how far I've gotten. Soon, I will be putting in actual... Uh, stuff. Not necessarily gameplay, but stuff. <laughs>